What's going on guys? Asian Psycho here. Welcome back to another video. It has been four months since I last uploaded. What the hell? That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Um, a lot's happened since then. Yeah, I'm blind now, for starters. These little guys, um, I wish I could say they're for aesthetic reasons. They're not, they're so I can, um, I can see. You know, you take, you know when like people with glasses take their eyes off and their eyes kind of shrink? That's how it kind of feels. Um, so it's quite weird to look back on videos now and be like, oh yeah. These basically just help me read, block the light, because obviously in my career, I'm a games artist. I'm staring at a computer for many hours. I'm staring at this thing. So it's really cool. I can kind of like view myself in game while talking to you guys. You know, it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's been crazy. Crazy four months. I'm blind. Um, so I guess the glasses on my parrot make a lot of sense now. And where, regarding where I've been, I've been doing just uni work. So I do a lot of drawing and a lot of modeling and sculpting. All of that lovely, stressful stuff, which it sounds easier than it is. It's, way more difficult because you got you think it is right so you got your actual like task right as an artist it's like hey do this thing for me and we're like bet i got you um and then you have this thing up here called a brain and it decides to be like i hate you so here's a bit of the <sighs> gonna throw a bit of this like imposter syndrome in there Gonna throw a bit of a mental oh, let's just throw some mental health in there. Ooh. Ooh. Gonna see see this a bit. Oh it's, it's very tough. <laughs> but point is, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been doing uni work. I've been instead of um doing like I guess content creation, um I've been getting into like Warhammer. Yeah, I've been getting into like miniature painting, which I did have a thought earlier actually. I was just like, it would be really cool. One thing I want to do at some point is maybe try and make some miniatures based around Party Parrot, which could be quite cool. And I could maybe sell them and you guys can buy them. They'll probably be like five pounds in um, Great British currency, um, which I don't know, I'm an idiot, so I'm just gonna say that's five dollars. Mm. Yeah, if, if you guys would be interested in that, leave that in the comments down below. Like, say if anyone's got like a 3D printer or something, um, it would be like an STL file, and you could, you'd have like this little guy, obviously not with like a massive battle axe and tongue sticking out of his belly, but um, be like the Plague Lord, you know, and be in little cute poses. If you don't like it, probably still gonna end up doing it anyway for my own sake. <laughs> So, yeah, that'd be cool. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I've been doing all of that stuff. A very expensive hobby, but it's helped a lot. Um, so I recommend anyone who's feeling a bit down in the dumps um, and wants to explore like a new hobby and express their creativity and get your brain working. Miniature painting. Um, try and find maybe like a um, smaller company if you can um, if you're starting out for everything going straight for games workshop because they are hmm, expensive so yeah moral of the story is I'm happy to see you all again um, we are not here for me though sadly uh, we are actually here for the beta outfit how cool is that so not long ago beta codes which we got back in 2022 have finally been added um, which is wicked so I want to talk about that um, because that's the current news baby yeah so we are going to explore um, the new items that are added so I don't know um, if everyone was here back in 2022 but if you've got your code and you've redeemed it the, the way you redeem it is within Hideaway. There should be like a code section. I'll pop it up on screen. You, know, you do that. Um, 
but yeah, we're gonna review all the items that we got. So, we get this little party hat, right? the purple mermaid hair, we get the green face paint, the uh, violet sneakers, circus t-shirt, uh, we get the dance scarf, and we get the purple penguin plushie. Um, and here we go, so this is the beta rat. How awesome is this, by the way? Um, there's just so much sort of going on. So obviously we've used, it's a really nice reference to Club Penguin. Obviously we're gonna address the elephant in the room. Uh, the colors were yellow and purple. I think they did the same with box colors as well. Um, so it's, and obviously the purple penguin, which is wicked. Uh, I really like the violet sneakers. Probably my favorite part of the entire outfit and the scarf. Um, I was always a big fan of the scarves, to be honest. It's always a cool thing. I really like the handheld plushies. I want to try and collect as much of those as if I can. The ex-boyfriends, collect them all. Kyle, beautiful eyes, great sense of humor. Belonged to a weird cult and would always talk about the weird cult and eventually you realized he wasn't your boyfriend at all. He was just trying to get you to join his weird cult. Brad. Yeah, isn't, isn't this wicked? Like, it's so surreal to me that this game is what, by one, I think it's one year old, maybe two, because I was in college when this game came out, so it's, and I graduated college in like 2022, so, oh, you're making me feel old and I'm like nearly 20, um, which is very very surreal to me and i do not like to think about it well then but yeah what a cool um sort of outfit so again like if you want to redeem this um the way you would do that is you would go to hideaway you would click on code it will then come up with redeemer code um insert what your code is um and voila you should get like 50 i think it's like 50 rubies and then you get all these items which is wicked um, but that then brings me on to wrapping up this sort of review as I said it's gonna be quite short and snappy um, be careful so I don't know if everyone is following me on Twitter and um, you really didn't get quite the engagement that I thought it would <laughs> or I was hoping it would um, but I did a big post on my Twitter um, because it came to my attention, there was this one guy in the Discord, which, even if I wanted to name him, I couldn't, because I can't remember. Can't even remember five minutes ago. So he was basically planning on scamming people by, because if you don't know, like, if you have a beta code, you can share that with up to two people, so they can use your code, um, which is cool, right? Because it means you can, you know, share it to two other people. Um, but what his plan was, he was asking people to give him a code which had already fully been used by three people. So it's just this invalid code. And he was asking for people. Also, this guy is in the bench. Um, he, he really wants to join the video. Um, my, oh, goodbye, bagpipe bot. Um, yeah, and he was basically wanting to, yeah, scam people, make them think. They get in the code, they put the code in, it's invalid. Please be very careful. If you have a code, be very sure you know who you're sharing that code with. Make sure they're like a trusted friend or at least like a trusted community member, a name you've seen a lot. Um, you know, they're not dodgy in any sort of way because I personally, in my experience, I did a trade with someone who before trading, I made sure that they were for sure definitely like a trustworthy person. Um, and I traded, uh, they, ba I basically exchanged the code for rubies, which rubies is obviously, you pay for that with real money. Um, so I made sure that those, we were communicating through the whole process and we were making sure that um, those rubies entered my account before I sent that code. Um, and which they did, you know, they entered my account. I was like, all right, bet, cool. Um, I gave him that thing, said thank you, and we went on our way. So you're doing an exchange where it involves 
real money. Please, please be really careful. Don't, you know, don't pay money for gems just to ultimately give it to someone who you don't really know or you don't trust, you know? Uh, um, especially if, you know, they're going around on the Discord asking people for used codes like an absolute moron. Um, yeah, don't, you know, please just look out for yourself. Um, way too many, like, I think, vulnerable people. Um, and it's just, it's very sickening to see that people are there to try and scam, which, you know, realistically are kids, <laughs> you know, um, and community members. Because, yeah, I got quite angry on my Twitter post because I was just kind of like, these items are kind of a celebration for the community. You know, it, it's not like a competition of, a, oh, you know, these, you got these items. We have the opportunity to share that with two other people. Like, you know, like, it's, this is a celebration of a beta for a game and rewarding those people early on, even later on, for a game that literally started off as, like, a parody of a dancing parrot meme. And talks about time travelling fridges and early days of like what what then was I think it was Mooseland or um or I think it was Mooseland the original name until it was eventually changed to Moose and Suits, which is probably a bit better. Um but yeah, that's, you know, that's what it's a celebration of, like, this really did come from community, like, this game literally was forged from, like, community ideas, we, everything you see was our idea, uh, really early on, when, you know, it was, really, a game wasn't even planned, there wasn't even a staff team yet, it was literally just Polo, um, and trying to figure out, like, how the hell this thing would come into existence so yeah please look out for yourself look out for others if you see any suspicious if you see any suspicious behavior report it um if like if it's on the discord report it to thingy and to like chilo polo any sort of team member don't spam them but Report it to them, report it to the email if you have to. Um, this is a community. Make sure you're just looking out for everyone. Because it breaks my heart to kind of just even fathom the idea that, you know, someone could quite literally get scammed out of like real money. Um, or even, a, even just like a kid getting scammed. Like, it's just not okay. But yeah. Moving on to, I guess, the conclusion of this video, um, I've now opened commissions again. So, yeah, I'm really excited for that because I don't know if people remember, but back in like 2021, I think I did commissions. I did, uh, I think I had three people who actually did um, do a request. That was Chilo, Loki Terry, and Texemi, all, all members of the amazing Party Parrot team, funny enough. Um, and yeah, that was such a brilliant experience. Um, and I want to thank them so much for that because I really needed money at that time. Like, I'm a uni student. It was a rough, rough moment. Um, so it was really nice to kind of, one, get the experience of working professionally with client work and two, um, getting closer to them through that way and three, getting paid. Um, because I really haven't had my first, well, I, technically I have, I haven't really had my first job yet, so that was, in a way, my first sort of, um, step into, like, freelance work, which was, like, my first job, so, yeah, it was really, I want to thank them a lot for that, um, but yeah, I've reopened them now, and I, I feel so happy about that, because I feel I've advanced so much since then, like it's been two years. I'm a second year new student. I've come massively in terms of drawing, and I want to be able to create really good art pieces for people. 
Um, and uh, yeah, just make a living, I suppose. So that will be opening back up in uh, April. Uh, why April, you might be asking, is because I'm off for two weeks, so I will not be here in Nottingham um, in my flat <laughs> drawing because I won't have access to my computer. I'm going to go see my family uh, while I have my break off and uh, spend some time with those who I don't really see much. Um, but when I come back um, from... I come back May 8th, so yeah, I'll be... Uh, there will be a Twitter post um, and probably on the Discord saying yeah it's open now so if you guys are interested in that and you want to see some of the artwork I've done before you you know contact me about it um, the link will be down below uh, Agent Psycho Draws um, thank you Brassbot <laughs> Brassbot is a big fan um, and yeah long story short that is kind of all I have to say um yeah thank you for tuning in make sure to look after yourself and make sure to redeem the code if you have one make sure if you're going to redeem the code of someone else to again look after yourself do it safely and uh yeah just look out for each other you know but, uh, don't be a scanner because you're a piece of crap if that's the case and i hate you Right, okay, um, hopefully I will be seeing you again, which is not four months time, hopefully, I, I do want to make some more videos in April when I'm back, because um, obviously you'll be seeing me in terms of my um, professional side, in terms of like, you know, client work, which I really hope um, some of you are, will be able to contact me that way, uh, I would love to do that, um, something I'm really excited about. So, yeah, and I want to see more in terms of content because I miss doing content. Um, it's just hard. <laughs> it's hard to find stuff to really um, talk about. But I want to do I want to do more theory stuff um, about the game. More stuff I think what relates to myself. Um, a bit like if you remember my character design. I know it didn't it didn't really do as well, but I didn't really care because I'd say that was probably if not my favourite episode I've done on the entire channel because I oh, just talking about like the character design and stuff it was so much fun to me and it meant more to me because I am quite literally a character artist so stuff I was talking passionate about um, and I like to talk <laughs> I have a big problem with talking I like to educate um, so yeah it's really cool so I want to do some yeah i want to do some more theory stuff see it as like game theory but it's party parrot so it's like party parrot theory <laughs> but that's just a theory a parrot theory but yeah anyway thanks for tuning in uh this has been me agent psycho um and i'll be seeing you in april so as always agents keep an eye out